Hey everybody, it's John Brown, the one, the only, Bandana Gamer, coming to you from Washington, D.C. Hope y'all are all doing well and staying sane in this crazy, crazy times. So, today it is time to do a Wii U Game of the Month. I have been really bad, I've fallen off for the past two months and not done a Wii U Game of the Month. But I wanted to get back into that. So, the Wii U Game of the Month. As you know, if you've been watching this channel, I am trying to go for a complete North American set of the physical Wii U games. Just one game, or one copy of each game. I don't need every edition, every special collector's edition, you know, like Hyrule Warriors, which is now $1,000. Not going that route, but want to get one physical copy of each game. And on this show, I'm just going to go through these through my collection and do a playthrough of games I don't know. Just a basic intro, see how the first level speaks to me. And this week, this month, for the month of November 2020, we are doing SpongeBob SquarePants Plankton's Robotic Revenge. This game was sent to me by 8BitGlitch79 because we did a little bit of a trade. And I'm really glad to have it in the collection. I kind of dig SpongeBob. The character, I think, is a really cool moment in TV and animation history. So I look forward to playing it. Let's get into it. All right, so we are getting into SpongeBob SquarePants for the Wii U. This game was a part of a kind of a trade I did with uh, 8-Bit Glitch. 79 and I look forward to checking it out. I am playing on the gamepad because my con pro controller just went dead. Alright, so SpongeBob SquarePants Plankton's Robotic Revenge. Uh, Auto save. There's probably not existing data for this. Let's play some SpongeBob. First mate, Ooh. ship's radio is dead. Get Real some video. New batteries in here on the double. Right away, sir. I was just. Oh. Uh -oh. What was there? Yeah, batteries. That Karen was the sound of my. I forgot about Plankton robotic wife Karen. You're getting taller. Taller? No. But I definitely will be moving up in the world. <laughs> he just knows what those are. Makes sense. Well, he, he's made a lot of robots, so, you know, I guess human batteries. Now, crabs, kneel before me in my technological superiority. Your flimsy defenses are no match for my... I like the uh, graphic style. It's computer animated look, so it's not like the flat 2D uh, SpongeBob, but it... it it's you really cool animation. It with me, really invokes the, the show Krabby really well. Video game safe. arises the In show. New, oh, safe. You mean this? Ultra secure safe? Oh, oh my god, he's got this no Krabby Patty secret formula. Get back here with me, safe, Plankton! Uh, Mr. Krabs? I randomly will say ravioli, ravioli, say give me the formula only. And my wife has no idea. No idea what I'm talking it. about. Little does he know that the safe requires a special key to open it. I made three copies of the key and hid them in three secret locations marked on this map. Thank you! Oh no! <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a friend come up. This is my cat Ollie. I usually will close the door and not let them in for recording, but. I need a special friend today. Sponge World is chaos. Oh, he's gone. We're safe. We're safe. What is it, boy? Okay. All we have to do is get a giant speaker system and play sad music about a lonely trucker really loud. Next, we'll have a barbecue and start cooking hot dogs, baked bananas, and sauerkraut. Then, using electric fencing, an old tuba, and a litter of kittens. And how is that is crazy. Help? Squidward, picnics always help. Wait! Why don't we all head out and find the keys before Plankton does? I like SpongeBob's idea better. Thanks, buddy. That's it! 
All we have to do is find the keys before Plankton does, and the formula will be saved. <laughs> so glad I thought of that. <sighs> Me too. Okay, they just disappear. No real explanation for that, but it's cool. Cool little premise. Dutchman's Triangle. Shipwreck Reef. Okay, so Press the jump basic. button to jump. Thank you, SpongeBob. Okay, so. Okay, so there's an attack button. I got that Lego vibe. Action button to attack. Got Mario's Z Stomp. Yeah, I got a neat little floaty feel, I guess, you know, because you're in water. Aw, what a cute little robot. Basically a little 3D platformer, or 3D adventure, I don't know. Genres get very confusing to me. At this point in time, we're merging all kinds of genres together all the time. Use the sprockets you've collected to purchase and upgrade gizmos. That's cool. So, tutorial, I mean, it's fairly... A basic, basic tutorial, but okay. I bought a thing. You have unlocked the pickle blaster. I don't know why that's. Use the gizmo activation button to shoot. Ah, uh, okay. I really dig the graphical style of this game. I did enjoy SpongeBob back in the day. Focus your shots on a single target for a big damage boost. This was all because of me. Oh yeah, super time. Oh, my pickle shooter has yes. has ammo, or if I just have a mini pickle. Run around and hit the cheap button to lock on them. Oh. Took some damage there. Aren't the great gears mean something different? Maybe we'll find some life here in a little bit. Jump and then press the action button to perform a ground slam attack. I figured that out a little while back. Um. Yeah, 
karate hand. I do love that attention. To Perform detail. a ground slam attack on treasure chests to open them. Okay, so Sir. Oh! <laughs> slick, slick, John. Totally just stomped into the ground. And then press the action button to perform a ground slam attack. Oh, I lost all my loot. That's a bummer. But deserved, because I did something stupid. Hitboxes are very generous. Perform a ground slam attack on treasure chests to open them. Okay, I thought that was going to be lost. Oh, yeah. That was unnecessary, but okay. All video game. All video game stuff is unnecessary. And I got I can get my loot back up there. Or my coins or gear and get those things. Perform a ground slam attack on the switch to activate it. You can't tell me what to do. But yeah, this I I think this gameplay is really well to we use strengths in a lot of ways. It's just Hey, there's not a lot to do on the vid. Controller gamepad, which I always like. I'd rather be playing with a pro controller. Um, but would allow you to do the prototype switch thing, which is be in the room with the console and just play it on the screen. Um, but yeah, it's not a really high fidelity graphic situation, but. But the graphic cell is pretty fitting for the. Uh, Another one down. So definitely dig this. For a licensed game, this is great. Uh, it's goofy, kind of mindless fun. I, I'm actually having a pretty good time playing this one. I guess I'm supposed to go with that tornado thing. I hope that was, I guess that was the right thing. I hope I didn't just kill myself. Ooh, okay. This reminds me, um, there's a really bad game on Xbox 360 and one called, uh, was it? Oh, Disneyland Adventure. This reminds me of one of the levels on it. This is... I feel like this is something meant to be done with a motion control. But there is no motion control to it. Uh, yeah. I guess that's just a basic bonus level. Golly, hard to believe that tiny plankton could do so much damage. I wonder if you'll get to play as the other characters. Not so hard, really, when you realize you're dealing with a powerful intellect like mine. You see, I owe it all to these energy power cells. They are a uh, source of unlimited their power. Plans. Using these babies, Karen was able to build me this Using freaky robot battle suit and an entire robot explode. army. Or not explode. His batteries will go down. Yes, yes, and with a little help from the Plankton family as well. I assure you that I will find these blasted keys, but I have one more thing I must do before I am on my way to world domination. I love What's the absurdity of like a cartoon plot. Like Destroy the he, lot of you, that's what he gets Sick the Krabby eyes. Patty and dominates the world. I love that. Just that's so classic cartoon. I think that's one thing like SpongeBob has going for it is it's. I, yeah, I guess it's more of a retro show now. It's still going on. I don't know. Um, oh. um, 
is it? Like, this is such a good, goofy kid show. It, like, reveled in its silliness. Like, it didn't try to be overly serious. It didn't try to be... You know, wasn't really about marketing toys to start off with. It was just kind of caught on that it was a... It was a cartoon for the sake of being a cartoon. And it's just such a goofy fun thing. I don't know, this game is... Good goofy fun. Glad to have it in the Wii U collection. Alright, where am I supposed to? Clearly I'm supposed to do something. Oh, there it is. I like, said I have to pick up this pickle blaster. Maybe? Not really. Alright, not a lot of explanation on this. Just keep shooting him with pickles. Very generous hitbox. SpongeBob SquarePants Plankton's Robotic Revenge for the Wii U. That's actually a really cool license game. Um, it's not, you know, great. It's not Mario, Super Mario 3D World, but it's a fun little 3D platformer. I definitely am going to play a little bit more of this. I like it I like it more than a lot of the stuff I've played on the Wii U. Uh, graphics, while not anything to write home about in terms of fidelity, is a cool style. Very colorful. I love, love, love colorful games. Um, so I would definitely recommend if you have a Wii U and you're looking for something to just check out and put on the system. This, I think, runs about $10 to $20 right now. So definitely a worthwhile pickup. So that's going to do it for this one, my friends. Once again, I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying sane and healthy. Uh, if you like this kind of video and you like Wii U, you like game collecting, make sure to hit the like button and give me a subscribe. And my friends, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.